Hello there and welcome back to France. Uh, last time we uh, more or less subjugated uh, Austria. They are now a uh, well a forced ally of ours, and we'll be using them for basically everything uh, everything we need now. And with them under us, we have Portugal, we have Savoy, we have Austria, we have Naples, Bohemia, and Hainaut as uh, as units. And this is uh, hurting our diplomacy power, but uh, we still should be all right. Spain will still be a uh, fairly important target. I believe they already are in the new world. So I must hope for that uh, the Portuguese can actually uh, can actually uh, start causing them some trouble because if not then I am in uh, a very bad position in terms of, uh, of being able to uh, well cause them trouble. But uh, it still remains to be seen how, uh, how it actually turns out but uh, it's still kind of uh, Kind of a dangerous situation for me, so uh, we'll have to see how uh, how it turns out in the end. But uh, I'll have to get some uh, some men home. I have some issues here with the Flemish Patriots, so uh, we'll be dealing with them uh, more or less uh, at once. And other than that, there aren't really that much to say. Most people hate me, as you can see, aggressive expansion. It'll take a while before Austria is actually in positive uh, relations again. So I will most likely end up in a um, in a secondary war with them for. Uh, uh, in order to keep the throne, but uh, all in all I'm positive. The only negative thing is as I said that uh, As far as I can tell the Spaniards are already in the new world, and I would guess they have uh, Three four maybe even six provinces, but uh, I haven't really checked so I'll have to do that before uh, before starting next time I probably said uh, in the last episode I would check it, but uh, I forgot it so uh, I could check it before the next episode, or I could uh, leave it, it's basically up to you guys. It's a little bit uh, better to know, but uh, as you know, I can't actually see that far, but I'm pretty sure that Portugal can. So once we declare war upon Spain again, and uh, well, rip them of these two provinces, I'm pretty sure that they'll have some colonization trouble and uh, also money problems, since uh, the distant overseas provinces won't actually be making them any money, they'll basically be suffering. So. Uh, We'll have to see how it uh, how it in the end turns out, but the first or the first order of business here is to get rid of uh, these annoying little uh, Flemish patriots here. So let's see here if we can actually uh, get rid of them or not. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we will be. Yep, they're uh, gone. So uh, we'll place this army, I think, in uh, in the border regions here, and uh, having these armies in. Uh, in Austria should be more than enough, uh, hopefully, but uh, we don't really know. Siege of Barasand, Austria, there we go, they've gotten it back. We'll keep our army standing down here, uh, I think it's the safest place. Utrecht declared war on Münster, not anything uh, interesting. Heinet has a lot of troops here, Austrian troops as well. So uh, I'd say we're looking pretty great in terms of uh, inheritance chance. Once can I... 93, so I could potentially actually start uh, integrating these guys. But I don't want to. I want to have them there because of the fact that uh, I can use them for... Uh, well, I did forget to do one thing here, and that is uh, get rid of these guys. But I want to keep uh, at least... Uh, at least... Uh, um, Portugal, thanks to the fact that they can colonize for me, and I can basically use them... Uh, uh, for many different st things, but uh, we'll have to see how this actually turns out. That hurt quite a lot, so we'll just have my army uh, army get back into shape, and then we will try to kick. Uh, since that Spain has become people controller as well, not a good thing at all. But still, we should be able to take it back uh, sooner or later. So I'm not really concerned. Do I have someone in Austria? Nope. Austria. Or do I already... Nope. Why the hell do I not have someone to improve relations in Austria? That's uh, that's a stupid move on my part. But still, Croatia has come back. Hungary. The Ottomans will be a formidable foe, I think. But still, I think I can handle them. Uh, the only real issue here is that I'll have to start handling them soon. Because uh, they're big, uh, big and annoying. And they're stuck in, uh, well, annoying lands. Let's change responsibility. I'll take the hit to diplomatic power, I think. Not planning to start any wars anytime soon. Or perhaps I am. We'll have to uh, we'll have to see. 
but uh, I'll be sending, I'll actually send this fleet home, uh, just a quick stop to fill up, uh, fill up the manpower and then we'll send them back to Malta. So once I have, I'll uh, get back to you. There we go, we have gotten our last idea in the religious set, which gives better relations over time plus 100%, which is quite good because that means that I can start uh, focusing on having people like me and uh, so forth. So all in all, that's a, uh, that's a real good movement. Also, French ideas advance, king of French ideas, have evolved and granted us access to liberté, equality, and fraternité. I think I pronounced that right, probably wrong though. Uh, I'd had French five years ago, so uh, it's a bit rusty, but still. Uh, all in all, what I get here is plus uh, four tolerance to heretics and plus two tolerance to, uh, to heathens, so uh, I'm not really concerned with the Protestants right now. Uh, the only thing that will be religious unity is the only thing that's suffering, but still, having the provinces themselves won't actually cause me any uh, any problems, so that's good. But uh, still, we have to deal with uh, these Grenada nationalists. We have to, uh, as you can see, I'm preparing for war here. Uh, that's because my truces are going up in two months, and I want to be ready to fight then. So uh, I'm just moving my troops to the front lines to prepare for the inevitable war, and. Uh, all that. So, uh, but I th we'll send these guys to uh, to Valencia, and or Cadiz it is, sorry, and have them deal with uh, deal with the troubles. And apparently, I forgot to uh, to put down me uh, my uh, well the cost for uh, having armies at full maintenance. So uh, we'll have to deal with that too later on. But uh, there's no reason to put it down. I'll be declaring war in uh, pretty damn soon, as you can see here. My truces with... Uh, I don't have truces with Aragorn. Wow, I don't have truces with Aragorn. That's great. They are the ones that I want to go after. So, we'll be going after Aragorn now, as you can see here. I'm pretty sure that this will only end up in war with them, because I have truces with everyone else. Yeah, I actually do. So we'll go ahead and declare war on Aragorn, causing them some... Uh, Hopefully, major damage here, but uh, we'll have to see how uh, how it actually turns out. I don't think they have too many uh, too many forces, so it'll be interesting to see if we can actually uh, actually cause them some serious damage here or not. But uh, Brandberg, the like Brandberg, the Clever One, Turingia, good things for Clary or Philosopher. I think we'll actually go for Philosopher here, and we'll have to boost our stability once we uh, once we can. Uh, it'll be a little while down the line but still we'll, uh, we'll have to boost it once we get the opportunity and we'll be sending these guys of course to uh, Aragon. I don't think they have that many men they only have 9,000 so uh, sieging them should be a uh, easy task so to speak and I think I'll just uh, allow everyone else to uh, to do it for me also we can go for military tech fire shock uh, some new cannons chamber demon cannon uh, that's it I think and also we want to go off to Spain as soon as we can, but I don't have a Casus Belli on them. And uh, everything is, well, going to be hell if I do. But still, do I still have a Casus Belli on these guys? No, we have no valid reason to attack them. They're a kingdom. Uh, so uh, we'll be waiting for uh, the claim here to be fabricated, then we'll declare on, uh, on, uh, on Spain as well. Try to take Granada and Almeria this time. And hopefully that will allow me to uh, to cause them enough issues to actually uh, have to give up this uh, new world adventure of theirs. I could potentially also start integrating uh, Savoy here, as you can see. So uh, we'll have to see, because as you know, they are part of the Holy Roman Empire. I have also Bohemia and Austria. Uh, I'm a little bit unsure, but I think I'll hurt my uh, relations with them should I go ahead and actually uh, annex them. So uh, we'll be sitting a little bit on the fence and see what happens. And by next thing, I mean uh, I'll have to remove the provinces from the empire, and that will most likely give me some uh, some negative modifiers here. But uh, we're at least getting a bit friendly with Austria, which is a good thing. I also believe as long as we are at war, that they can't actually uh, actually end up in a position where they'll. Uh, yeah, it seems that also Aragon here has gotten their ideas for uh, for causing some uh, losses. Revolutionary war against Avignon. Uh, could be interesting to move upon, but I probably won't. So I'll allow my vassals to siege everything. Uh, basically, good old, good old. Because uh, by allowing them to siege it, I can potentially hand it over to them. 
rather than uh, someone else or myself, which uh, in turn allows me to uh, cause a lot, a lot of issues for them. So uh, let's see. Uh, Via the Oro, I'm actually... no, it's this one. Okay, yeah, fine. Uh, now we can go off to Spain as well. Declare war, conquest of Salamanca, and uh, Lorraine, Burgundy, Aragon. Uh, most of these will actually end up joining in, but still, uh, not really concerned. Uh, we'll have more than enough troops to deal with them. I think Burgundy has, yeah, 8,000 men, they have 4. So, all in all, we should be uh, we should be fine. I'll probably kill those Austrian peasants for uh, for them. But, uh, as you can see, we are more than, more than capable of handling them. So, uh, I'll get my troops into position and we'll go off to Spain once again. But uh, I seriously need to get rid of them, because if they start getting in a new world, uh, when I'm not actually planning on going there, things will uh, things will get nasty fast, and uh, that ain't that ain't positive in any aspect at all. So, uh, we'll also allow my, uh, my vassals to siege these provinces as well. The only thing I'll be doing is running around, killing off, uh, killing off the troops, and uh, all in all, I think yeah, that, should, uh, that should work out pretty well. But still, we'll have to we'll have to see how this actually turns out. We'll be hunting down these guys. I actually have a general here that's not in use. I th think I still have the mission to subjugate Brittany. Manage, make core, Safi. We'll be selling that one pretty damn soon as well. Come in. Missionary strength. Uh, could potentially be something to get later on, but not right now. I think I have a... Yeah, I won't lead it too much, but still. Should be alright. Uh, other than that, not really that much going on. And hopefully, as I said, we'll be able to uh, to hurt Spain pretty much here, but taking Granada and Almeria, and uh, I'm pretty sure that would allow me to uh, to force them to not have anything anymore. Battle of Liege, we won. They're moving to Breda. Holland, sorry. So, uh, as you can see, we have more or less dealt with these wars already. They have only the Burgundy's troops again. The Spanish, the Aragonese have 7,000 men. So everyone is basically on a downturn here. So going after Brittany now is probably a wise move, I think. So uh, I'll be doing just that. I'll be going after Brittany. I'll be starting to fabricate a claim up here for, uh, let's see, economy, covert, fabricate a claim on Cornwall. I'm pretty sure I'll simply only take Cornwall this one, or yeah, I could potentially release England, but still Cornwall. And I believe Northumberland could also be created. Yeah, I'll be creating Northumberland and Cornwall. And then I'll be running around killing their guys off and, uh, well, basically growing those two vassals. But uh, I want to get rid of some of my uh, some of my unions before then. Sardinia now will probably be handed over to Naples, which is a good thing. Uh, other than that, I'm not really sh too sure what will happen here. I think Austria, will, Austria has some issues here, but they will be sieging. So, um, as I said, I'll just put it on pause and we'll see how, uh, see how it goes. As you can see, we have completely sieged all of... Uh, Aragon and Spain, the only thing that remains of Prime Mainland Spain is uh, an Austrian province that's been sieged. Hey, sorry. Uh, province that the Austrians are sieging, this one over here. Once that's done, we'll be done there, but I can always make peace with uh, these guys now. As you can see, they suffer quite a lot, but uh, it's it's necessary. We'll go ahead, Mercia, Sardinia, and the Belarus. Basically, I'm handing everything that I can over to unions, which in turn means I get no aggressive expansion. Uh, Wow, uh, apparently it seems that I do. Ah, I don't get it. In that case, the peace deals should really start uh, start taking on. But uh, it's Portugal and Naples that will be suffering from this. So, uh, and since they are the only ones they have uh, relations with are me, then I have nothing to worry about. Also taking all of the money, which apparently they had a lot of. Return course. Transfer trade power. We'll go for this one. It's a good deal. I'm also growing Naples uh, quite a lot here too, which is also good. And uh, for Spain, we'll be waiting for uh, for uh, the siege of this one, and then we'll probably take these uh, four provinces if we can. And uh, I'm pretty sure that will hurt, hurt them pretty much. But also, uh, as long as they have uh, had their capital over here, I'm pretty sure that we can get something out of the uh, the provinces overseas. I'll have to check here if uh, the Portuguese have actually taken anything there. Cordoba, Granada, uh, doesn't seem like it, so uh, I'll be waiting for about a year now 
simply to uh, see if uh, the Portuguese can sail over to the new world and get their provinces there. The reason why I know they now have definitely new provinces there is simply because I have 99%. Colonies aren't really worth that, are they worth that much, but uh, that's proof that they do have uh, they do have some provinces over there, and uh, we'll have to see how how they turn out. Too bad here, I allowed Heino to siege all this in the hopes that they could actually uh, take a promise or two from them. Apparently they could not, which is uh, kind of a bad move, but still. Heino is probably one of those that I will integrate as soon as I can. I uh, should probably start with Savoy and Naples too, but uh, as you can see, Naples is quite useful in uh, the fact that they actually are taking provinces and allowing me to take them. The Ottomans actually have this island, which is kind of surprising, but still. I'll allow Spain to, uh, or I'll be at war with Spain for a little while longer and see uh, see what happens. As you can see here, Portugal has 23,000 men, but uh, when I actually look upon the lands, I can only find 3,000, and they are standing here, and nowhere else to be found. So I'm pretty sure that they are actually over in, uh, in the Span Spanish colonies, so to speak. And this is a proof of that. The Portuguese are actually over there stealing the uh, stealing the colonies that I uh, that I'm wanting. So I'll actually allow this war to go on for a little while. I'll probably have to check how many colonies they have. But if the Portuguese are actually over there stealing them uh, for me, that would put me in a really good position because uh, that means that I can force uh, force Spain here to lose pretty much everything that they own. So. Uh, I'll allow this war to rage for a couple more uh, years, see if they, uh, the Portuguese take anything more. If my vassals are in a position where war uh, or a war exhaustion is about to destroy them, then uh, I'll have to step in and fight for them. But uh, as things are looking now, I think I'm pretty uh, pretty confident that I can actually take uh, or fulfill the mission here, which is to uh, vassalize Brittany. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that straight away. And although I do have uh, two men diplomatic relations, the next idea I will go for is probably, thanks to that, expansion ideas, uh, plus two diplomatic relations. I haven't really found that anywhere else here. So uh, we'll go for expansion, we'll get an extra merchant, we'll get an extra colonist, and uh, it also will help once we get to Asia, as you can see. So uh, all this diplomatic reputation is also good, uh, travel times. Most of it is good though, so we should be alright, probably go trade off that, or probably another military idea, quality perhaps. So, uh, yeah, we'll have, to, uh, we'll have to see what we'll actually do, but at this stage we'll uh, allow this war to rage, and then uh, we'll see if Spain, uh, Spain can rise, because I'm pretty sure that we can take most of the colonies along with uh, everything else they have over there. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see. The only problem is that I can't actually help the Portuguese over there, so I'll have to uh, keep troops in the Portuguese lands, and... Uh, well, support the troops as, as well as I can. I can also build another 12,000 units, which is quite interesting. I'm uh, making some sort of profit right now, so I'm just saving up until uh, I'm waiting for the rainy day. But this will unfortunately be the end of this part. Tell me what you want me to do. Should I take go after Brittany? How long should I wait in this war? Should I see if I can get all the Spanish colonies that are overseas? Because that would basically settle this for me. And also, the fact that the Spanish are there means that I should get started on Great Britain as uh, as soon as I can, basically. So we'll be releasing Cornwall, we'll be releasing uh, Northumberland, and hopefully we'll take a couple of Scottish provinces as well. And uh, we'll, we'll simply take one Scottish province. We'll be taking, we'll be aiming to take this, Luthien, uh, Northumberland, and Cornwall. We'll release Scotland, Northumberland, and Cornwall, which means that I need to get up three diplomatic rip, uh, or three diplomatic uh, uh, diplomatic. Uh, uh, relations. Also, as you can see here, the people here are not exactly uh, exactly fancying me to uh, as a choice here. So uh, we'll have to see. If I could become all the Roman Empire, that would be uh, that would be superb. But uh, I highly doubt it. So we'll be removing uh, actually voting for Great Britain though, since we're a heretic. So. We'll have to see how we'll actually do this, but at this stage I'm actually tempted to integrate Savoy, uh, possibly Naples too. They do have a lot of provinces in this area. So, uh, yeah, I'm not exactly 100% sure what I will do, but uh, we'll, be, we'll be taking it as it goes. 
So thank you for watching this episode, please leave a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like, and I'll see you around next time. Bye!